Skippers Legion and Providence Point have entered into a three-way agreement you. regarding That's Skippers Lane minutes. rights of way. Three well, minutes. my three minutes were still I appeal by the ruling of the chair, Mr. City Attorney. I appeal the ruling of the chair. Okay, Alderman Gay, you're wasted. No, I'm not. You are. No, and it's inappropriate for you to say that. You know you are. It is incredibly inappropriate for you to say that. It's true. It is incredibly inappropriate for you to say that. Um, we can talk about appropriate after the council meeting. No, it's meeting. incredibly inf inappropriate for well, you to say true. that. It is true. Thank you, and it's happened before. Okay. Uh, my last statement is: no, no, no. your uh, chief point of, of order, staff, point of order, Smith, point of order, point of order, point of order, I'm Mr. Not recognizing you, Alderman Gay. Point I'm of order, Mr. City. You. Point of order. No, I'm not recognizing you. Point of order, Mr. City Attorney. I'm not recognizing you. Point of order, Alderman Gay. I'm not recognizing you. Point of order. There's, there's no point of order. You've if I don't just, no, you. no. You have just directly broken the city code. No. You. No. Please finish. Okay. No. Uh, Mr. Meacher Mr. informed Attorney. everyone that the city, that the Willows, the Legion, and Providence Point have entered into a three way agreement regarding the Skipper's Lane rights of way. Your Chief of Staff and Mr. Smith both questioned me about the status of that agreement after my comments at the last meeting. So you've now been provided a copy. No. So if that's the real reason we've been stalled, that issue can be put to bed. You wrote a great letter of support that enabled the Willows to apply for low income housing tax credits. We need you to respond or direct the appropriate parties to respond with what the city's timeline is for the Willows. Hopefully that will be an April meeting at Planning Commission. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. City Attorney, point of order. Yes. I would ask that you address the accusation made by the mayor on the floor. Uh, the mayor controls. I believe it is in direct violation of the city code. <clears throat> and, oh, the rules of Robert Orders. Please do so indefinitely. Do the, so immediately. The mayor is the presiding officer, so he controls the meeting. Thank you. And Mr. Well, point of order, Mr. Point, point, point of order, point of order, point of order. I ask that you just please take back the statements that you made on the on the council. I will floor. take it back to get on with the meetings. I apologize. So let's get on. With it the was no, not. All, it was incredibly. In a, it, no, it was incredibly disrespectful and I would never undermine you in your seat in such a way regardless of you, regardless of what knowledge I may have had pr previous to a city you council already meeting. Have I would have never I would have never so you're gonna bring up now accusations in the public the really Gavin yeah yes you already are accusing some mr. city attorney I ask that we break for a five-minute recess I believe that the city that the uh, presiding officer is breaching uh, and pushing very slanderous territory right now with the, another member of the council. Uh, I'm not going Mr. City Attorney, I ask that you address this in a manner Mr. necessary. Mr. City Attorney does not run the meeting. I am running the meeting, Alderman Gay. And you're going to use your pulpit yes, to I undermine am. another member of the staff? I am definitely going to, yes. Thank you. Mr. City Attorney, please present the next, oh, sorry. Next speaker. Curtis. Point of information, I like the record to note that I believe we're un operating under insufficient rules of rabbit order under the direction of the city attorney, Michael Lowes, and the mayor, Gavin Buckley. Thank you. Curtis, you need to come forward? 